Oh, I'm back again. Just making a, another quick video on glow in the dark printer resin, or rather making your own. I'm going to be using Lit by Stuart. <laughs> simple, simple, simple. I don't know. Sorry, mate, if I've just butchered your name. Um, These are the two prints that I've already done with this stuff. This actually has 20% uh, white added to the mix. Don't do that. <laughs> you don't want to do that. It's just going to ruin it. You can you can see the white. Even though everything glows grey, this would be glowing much better if I hadn't bothered with the white. And this print failed because I couldn't be bothered to wait to see if it was working properly. So uh, I paused the print to, to check its progress and after I resumed it, I disturbed the sediment. You don't want to do that. And that basically means that when this came down to print that next layer, because I disturbed the surface, some of the supports didn't join and it, and it started to delaminate and come apart. But as long as you leave the print and don't touch the sediment, you can print pretty much normal parts as usual basically uh, and this is a tester by any cubic to like test the printer push the limit so if you can print this and get it to glow you can print almost anything um, this is the longest print that I've done so far which is I think it's about four hours on the default settings because you can't alter the settings for this as soon as you press the file it just, and you can't do like your speedy settings, it's just the way it is. Um, and I did butcher it while I was getting it off the base, so. But yeah. So, this is the lit. It's really, really cool stuff. It's really, really powerful. I'm just going to show you now how I mixed it. So, I'll just take a little bit of this. I'll just put it over the pot. Normally you just want to use the spoon, you don't want to do this, I'll just... This stuff's actually only, it's not that expensive, it's about £10 a tub. Uh, but then you've got your postage on top of that, which brings it up to about £15. I'm going to put a link in the description to their site. And I'm also going to put a link to, if you live in the UK, you can. there's a guy on eBay that you can buy samples of this from. So you can, I've just ordered, um, you get four 5 gram packs. So you get one of each colour, you get blue, pink, yellow and green. But the guy's really, really nice. I spoke to him, and because I've already got some green, he's just sending me out two blue, one pink, one yellow. So we'll be able to see how they look in a few days. But, yeah, it's, it's good stuff. To buy, you can buy all three, all four, sorry, in a multi-pack from, from the manufacturer. But it's about, I think it's £35 for, this, for a set. So this is just no this is just normal uh, any cubic translucent resin. Personally I think it would be better to try this with um, the ABS like resin because from my experience the Elgo ABS like resin is much more um, it's got higher viscosity. It's thicker, slightly thicker. Um, I'm not sure if you, how often you guys print or if you use the ABS light stuff, but it tends to be thicker stuff. So, and that's what you want because the thicker the resin, the more suspension you're going to get. This is, from what I can tell, it's about 70%, 80% suspension. Um, sorry, uh, 60 to 70% suspension. So that means for every 100% that you put in. 30, maybe 40% will sink to the bottom. Um, so, and the other 
thing that I've noticed is it, there's no point in trying to work to ratios. I was trying to keep it to a, a strict ratio, but from what I've noticed, this powder it's like it's obviously not uniform. There's, there's billions of particles in there, and they're all different sizes. They just they just make sure that this will fit for a certain size mesh. Certain size mesh. So if it fits through a one micron mesh, it's a pass. But there will be particles in there that are like a fraction of a micron, half a micron, smaller than that. They're the ones that are staying around and floating and not sinking in the resin. So if you put a big spoonful into your resin, obviously you won't put it into a little tub like this, but if you were to make 100 mils and it say takes 30, 40 grams, sorry, if you're making 100 mils and it takes say a gram to, to make that work, you want to put about one and a half to two grams in there. Okay, it seems like a bit of a waste, but I find that's where you get the best results because you're going to, even although a lot of the powder goes to waste, you're just wasting the big particles that, you, that are not going to be used anyway. Once you pour this into the vat after about an hour, they, they, those particles will have already sank to the bottom of the bed, the bed, uh, the vat. That doesn't matter. When I finished printing this print, there was like a, basically there was this pattern on the vat. And, I, and at first I thought, you know, it damaged the FEP or something or it was stuck to it, but it won as soon as you sort of tilted the FEP to pour it off, it just did like this fluorescent green streak, it looked, looked pretty cool. And, and it doesn't scratch the FEP as well. This stuff is so fine, it will not scratch the FEP. So you want, anyway, but you want to keep stirring this up. Um, you can shake it, it's not a problem. When you shake it though, you do get a lot of air bubbles in there. Um, it don't make no difference, but when you're trying to judge how much is sacked to the bottom, you don't really want bubbles getting in the way. So normally when I mix this up, I'd use like a um, plastic half pint glass sort of thing, one of the disposable things. I just put 100, about 120 mils in there and then I just added the, the lit as you've seen. And I'd, you keep stirring it up, let it settle. Stir it up, let it settle. When I say let it settle, you want to wait about an hour. Um, and then stir it back up again, wait another hour, stir it back up again. And you just want to keep doing this for about three hours. I find that the more, the, the more you do it, the more of the lit gets dissolved into the resin. Once you've got it to this sort of greenish consistency you want to let that settle once you've let it settle pour it off so pour it off into another container So you're going to leave as much of the sediment behind. But you don't want to take it all away. If you left all the sediment behind, it, it won't really fluoresce. But, like I said, a small amount of sediment is not going to make a difference to the fat. It's not going to make a difference to the way the printer prints. So, and it, and it definitely gives you a much, much better glow. So, that's what you want to sort of end up, end up with before you put it in the printer. If you can see big sort of swirls in there and you've got that grittiness, you don't want to be putting that in there. You just want the really fine stuff. If I left this for another 10-15 minutes this will settle again, but it won't be much. The, you know, it's like I say, it's nothing to worry about. That, that's what you want. This is, this is, you're good to go with this. So, so I've, I've, off, off the top of my head it's probably about one gram of lit to a hundred grams a hun one to one liter of resin you can also airbrush it and it airbrushes 
really well so you can use it to spray your models afterwards if you want or you could use it to spray a canvas so it works someone told me that I wouldn't be able to put it through an airbrush because it's pretty much it's it, it's like um, it's like putting talcum powder in water and trying to paint with it it's a very dryish substance so but as long as you add enough water um, it seems to work fine you have to add water you can't add airbrush thinner because if you do that when you shake it it just it becomes all froth and then you're gonna have to wait like two hours for it to go down so but yeah that's basically what you want to do to make it ready for SLA, ready for an SLA print you can also mix it with a transparent base if you want to paint it onto a canvas or something like that which it will work really really well at um, I've, in the over the years I've bought just about all the globe paints off Amazon none of them are particularly brilliant um, not I mean if you're going to use a black light which I consider cheating yeah they, every, anything's going to glow once you've charged it with a black light but they don't glow for very long and I don't really want a black light and go oh before I go to bed or something just to light up a picture you want something that's going to work with normal ambient light and when you turn the lights down or off it, it's going to glow and glow well lit is the only product that's going to do that for you I purchased all of these and I, at the start of the video you probably saw them all glowing they're very very gritty they're not very fine I mean they are still fine but they're not fine enough to use as a pigment I've tried painting with them you can't use them with a brush it's, it's like painting with paint with sand in it whereas this is just like painting with silk or just normal paint it's, it works great um, so don't buy these I, I mean I'm sure they have a purpose um, you could mix them into normal epoxy resin but even then this sinks at a really fast rate when I if I was to drop this into the same tub now it will sink like a brick and there will be like sand at the bottom in seconds and less than half of what would less than half dissolves so yeah don't waste your money on the, on the ones on Amazon or eBay just buy the lit you don't have to buy the, the big packs as I say you can just buy the one the other resin that I just wanted to look at today and show you is this type this um, this one I've made it's it looks absolutely awesome and it's this is basically car paint pigment this is the similar to the one that John is it the Tuscan John Travolta drove in face off or something I think it's face off um, where it changes colour which depends on what you look at it and this is it kind of reminds me of the Russian artist um, Fabergé it kind of reminds me of the Fabergé it's sort of metallic blue deep blue these also work they suspend now they are going to settle after a few hours the the blue is the better one for not settling and I did a couple of test resin samples here which is true probably better on a white but is is doing still doing the two tones so you've got your green and your red green red I think this is actually supposed to be three tone so go figure I'm not sure what the other tone is supposed to be yeah that one looks better as well and again this looks really nice I'm, I'm looking forward to trying this one
So yeah, that's about it really, I think.